Hey everybody, this is Pastor David from Walden Community Church. You know, I was thinking that from the moment our kids are born, we're already looking for the best daycare and the best preschool. And then we start teaching our babies sign language so they can communicate with us. And then somewhere between six and 12 months, we're teaching them how to crawl. And then between eight and 18 months, we're teaching them how to walk. And then it's on to elementary school and then all of the extracurricular activities after school like art camp and theater camp and after school sports and after school gym and ballet and gymnastics and dance. And it's not just one. Some of our kids are in two or three after school activities. And it's not even just one of our kids, it's all of our kids. I mean, remember when you and I were kids? I mean, gone are those days of you and I just casually walking home and once you got home you had a leisurely snack and then you'd go outside and see if there were any friends out there to play with. My oldest son comes home from school and literally all of his friends are in activities. They are so busy every single day of the week. For what? I mean, all for what? Why are we pushing ourselves so hard? Why are we rushing? Why are we taxing our families and running so fast? Are we all in a race? And if we are in a race, are we winning? I mean, how would we even know if we were winning? Now, I'm not saying we should all be lazy and do nothing. I mean, we've had almost two years of that. I love working hard. I am not afraid of hard work. But see, the thing I know about hard work is the longer and faster you push yourself, the more tired you'll become and then it'll be just easier to burn out and make mistakes. And some of us, we're going so fast that if we missed a turn, we'd only have seconds to correct ourselves or we'd hit a wall. And then if you do hit a wall, you stop and you ask, what happened? Listen, for as much as you were designed to think and work and create and invent, you were also designed to rest. In fact, the Bible commands you to rest. And you can find one of those commandments in Psalm 46.10. It says, be still and know that I am God. But the problem is rest. We don't know what purpose it serves. Why am I resting? I mean, if, do I just need to take a break? Do I just need to slow down for a second and recharge? So maybe we will, maybe we'll slow down but only for a minute, or maybe only on a Sunday, right? We'll take one day, but the rest of the week is run, run, run. We do this on the street, right? We carry the same attitude over when we drive our cars. When we're out on the freeway, we're trying to pass the person ahead of us. Why? <laughs> they, they are not going to the same place that we are, right? But yet we have this race mentality in our head. We're always trying to get ahead of the other person. We're always trying to be first. You don't need to pass other drivers just because you can. It's not a race. Life is not a race. We need to slow down. Now, if you were in a race, one of the things you can't do is you can't talk to the runner next to you. I, I run, I run sometimes in the morning and sometimes I'll pass other joggers and they'll say, good morning, but I'm breathing so heavy. I don't even have the energy sometimes to say good morning back. Why? Because I'm going too fast. Listen, I'm going too fast in my life to be able to stop and say hello to other humans. And you know what? We can't blame COVID for that. We can't blame COVID for loneliness. We can't blame COVID for the isolation that we feel. Sadly, that has more to do with our busy lifestyles and less to do with the lockdown. Because let's say you go to ballet, okay? Or let's say you go to soccer or gymnastics. Are you uh, talking to other parents when you're there? I'm not. Usually we're all just staring down at our phones. Tell me something. 
Does your kid ever complain about loneliness? Does your kid ever complain about having no friends? Guess what? They learn that from us because we don't have friends. We are lonely because we're either going so fast or because we're around others and when we are, we're just looking down instead of out. That's not how we were made. God made us to be relational beings because God is a relational being. God wants us to have a relationship with him, but also with each other. And at Walden Church, we say that our lives are spent loving God and loving others. It's upward and outwards, horizontal and vertical. Tell me something, how easy is it to love when you're moving at 100 miles per hour? How easy is it to connect with God and connect with each other? You know, it doesn't have to be that way. God says, be still. And, and God doesn't yell it at us. He doesn't grab our arm as we, as we run by. No, God whispers it to us. He lovingly asks for our time. In fact, in another part of the Bible, in the book of James, it says he yearns jealously over the spirit that he has made to dwell in us. Do you know what that means? It means God wants to spend time with you and he is jealous of the time you spend away from him. Think about that, right? The God of the universe, the all supreme, all powerful God who sits on the throne in heaven, who is surrounded every day by worship and angels and creatures and thousands and myriads of voices who worship him. He is jealous of your time. Stop running. Stop speeding. Stop doing so much. Let's all set a better example for the next generation. Let's show these kids that we value time and stillness and slowness. This Sunday, we're going to talk about living our best life at Walden Community Church and how we can find that best life if we take the time to make the time. Every Sunday we have two services. We have one at 9.30, which is our traditional service, and we have a choir. And then we have one service at 11 o'clock, which is a little bit more contemporary. We have a worship team, and we also have a children's program and a youth program. I hope to see you there.